Today I will introduce you to the unique Bodega Garzon. Best New World Winery of the Year 2018, Bodega Garzon is considered by many publications to be the best winery in Uruguay. Discover the incredible vineyards, hotels, and culture of Uruguay, the hidden gem of South America. Make yourself comfortable and let's get started with some wine tasting. In this case, we, we are in front of a great Sauvignon Blanc, uh, more refreshing with a high minerality. It comes from the east of Uruguay. It's uh, very delightful with a great acidity. I really love and enjoy this kind of Sauvignon Blanc, really refreshing with a high intense of the minerality of the east of Uruguay. In this case, it's very intense and nose with the with the notes of the with the grapefruits with the melon with the peach we can find some apricot uh, in this case we we are in front of this kind of really refreshing delightful well balanced Sauvignon Blanc is a great companion for for the, the, the aperitif for example and for the seafood I hope you like it enjoy it. this winery sits close to the Atlantic Ocean about 60 kilometers from Punta del Este Marsalan in Uruguay is in the spotlight. It's a very unique grape variety. In this case, we are talking about a Marsalan from the east of Uruguay. With that such of minerality, that freshness of the Atlantic Ocean. This Marsalan is quite unique as well because it's very fresh with the with a very nice acidity, natural acidity of course, but in this case we we can find the ripe and the tart cherries and the tart red fruits. A lot of the strawberries. Very well balanced in, at the middle of the mouth with a long finish. And in the aftertaste we can find the smokiness of the oak, of the hints of the oak. I hope you like it because it's a very different wine in Uruguay and it, in fact it's uh, a really gastronomic wine. You can, you can make a great pairing with pastas, with many 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 things or many gastronomic things from Uruguay, from here. So I hope you like it, enjoy it. One of the highlights of your visit will be the restaurant, where you will enjoy delicious meals prepared under the supervision of Argentine chef Francis Malman. No one expects that a Cabernet Franc from Uruguay could be really, really complex. In this case, you are in front of a great Cabernet Sauvignon Reserve 2018 from the east of Uruguay. Expressive and nose, really fruity. At mouth is delightful, very very well balanced, and of course they have the hints of the pyrazines, but in a tiny amount of pyrazines. So in this case we are in front of a great Cabernet Franc, really ripe Cabernet Franc, really well balanced. It's a great wine for many gastronomic dishes as well in Uruguay. So in this case the, this wine was aged in only French oak, second use oak and it was really really expressive. I hope you like it and enjoy it. Cheers. Bodega Garzon is the number one wine exporter in the country. Another Merlot from the east of Uruguay. 2017 great vintage very expressive rounded very different because they have the the hints of the graphite of some mineral notes like it's stony notes delightful they have a hint of pyrazine at mouth but just in the end in the aftertaste you can find the smokiness and the hints of the oaks. The sweet spices are there. And, but it's a great expression of the Merlot. You can find really good 
melods in Uruguay and even of course in the east of Uruguay. I suppose that this kind of wine for me, they are more versatile. You can pair this wine with lamb, for example, with some risottos, with pasta, so it's a, with a, for example, mushroom risotto. So it's a great gastronomic Merlot. So I hope you like it, enjoy, cheers. Whether you want to learn about winemaking or you want to have a relaxing day, this is the place to go. After all, there's nothing like drinking wine right in the place where it was made and seeing all the effort that was put into it. Great talent, what else? A single vineyard from the east of Uruguay, from Garzón, this great harvest. In this case, we are in front of a very specific tannat, more fresh, more complex tannat, because it's really, really outstanding, very delight, delightful. The freshness, the fruitiness, it, of course, it's there, but you can find the minerality the stony notes, the limestone and the chalky notes at the end in, of, of, the, of the taste of the mouth. In the aftertaste, you can find the earthiness that's, you know, such tiny mushrooms and of course, it's all the red fruits coming through the wine. It's a high potential tannat. You can age this wine for at least 10 years. And of course, will be a very great pairing with many, many barbecues. For, for example, maybe some lamb, some asados from Uruguay. And of course, it is a very unique and specific tannat from the east of Uruguay. So I hope you like it and cheers, enjoy. If you like this video, then stay connected, because we'll be talking about Bodega Bosa in the next episode. See you then.